So last night before bed, this Garmin Phoenix 7X Pro reminded me that it was almost bedtime, even though I've been wearing the Phoenix models for going on four years now. Anyway, I just put it in airplane mode so I could shoot this video, and then it reminded me what airplane mode does. Kind of interesting that Garmin continues to show me the tours as if I'm a new user even though I'm not. And there doesn't appear to be a way to turn that off. Not annoying, just something to note. I've wanted to film this for a long time, but then I sold my Garmin Phoenix, and I have loaned my Epix 2.0 to a friend of mine to test jet lag, because he's a pilot. And I only have these two watches with morning reports. I didn't wear this one. I wore this one to bed. You, you saw that I just took it off and... Man, I had it on too tightly. So we have the morning report in color on the Phoenix 7X Pro Sapphire Solar. What's that description? It's the Titanium Fog. This is a really small font, by the way. It's the, yeah, Titanium with Fog Gray Ember Orange Band. Yeah. So this is the Fog Gray, and then here's the Orange and Ember Orange. And I don't have the BB-8 yet, but this watch reminds me of Star Wars. So here's the morning report. Good morning. It's Wednesday. How's the weather? Well recovered. 85 is my training readiness. And I can still click right here and view the details. Good sleep time. Full recovered. HRV. Acute low. Sleep history. Good. Stress history. Not enough data. Scroll down. We have our threshold. It recommends that I run... Wow, some drills. I'll think about that, Garmin. 86 sleep score. Click on the GPS, the, the orange button, and it shows me my sleep quality. I can scroll on down. It shows me all my sleep data. Funny enough, it's not showing previous nights, even though I was wearing Garmin. It wants me to wear this one exactly, I guess. And now we scroll down again for the sleep score. I mean, the morning report, 31 milliseconds balanced. We have the weather. We have my meeting. Personalize your morning reports in settings appearance. Thanks, Carmen. Ah, oh, it didn't give me my fortune cookie. And now I'm done. So let's see what this one reads. So this is an Italian. Buongiorno. And it has um, Mercoledì uh, 23 di Agosto. And then it has the time, the weather, and a little bit of lag. There we go. Training readiness. Just says, Auto, I recuperato bene. You have recovered well. HRV status, 31. Bilanciato means balance. Note pregente, previous night. And then it has these stats as well. Uh, Endosalo mentre dormi per misurare le HRV. Wear the watch to measure HRV. <laughs> uh, Obiettivo passi, 5,000. Uh, what is that, 5,000? Not cinque, cinque, oh, cinque mille. And then cento ottanta, 180 di seguito. So 180 days of meeting my goal. And then we has, so it's wanting me to do a run repeat. Consiglio advice of the day for a run, which is exactly the same as the Phoenix. Then it has the weather. Uh, meteo is weather in Italian, in case you're wondering. Minutes of intensity, 93. Hai la preparazione per affrontare la giornata. You have the preparation to confront the day, is a rough translation. Now, let's say I don't like that. We'll just scroll up and wait a minute. So last night was my first night. I just unboxed this last night. I'll have a more detailed video about this. But it's interesting that if you do have two of the watches that have morning report functionality, it displays on both of them, even though you might have only worn one. Hmm. Now it helps that I left this in do not disturb mode, of course. And I also left it uh, with uh, Bluetooth enabled. This one, even though it is a newer watch, it doesn't have airplane mode, and that bugs me. Whereas the Epix, the Enduro, 
the Garmin Tactics, the Garmin 7, well, the Garmin Tactics Delta from over two years ago, the new Garmin 7 Series Tactics, all the Garmin Phoenix 6s, even the Enduro 1, the Epix 1, the Epix 2, the Epix Pro, pretty much the higher-end watches, they have actual airplane mode, and that turns off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, where this one does not, and that bothers me. Why won't you add that, Garmin? Yeah, fun stuff. Is the screen brighter? I don't know. It's the morning after. The other weird thing is they copied Epix, and if you go to brightness, they took away the percentages. So you have three. You have low, medium, and high. You can't go to 80% or 70% like you used to. That's kind of lame. And then if you go into the sleep mode, so there's system, sound and vibe, sleep mode, schedule, backlight. You don't have just one or two or three, you have four. So you can do full. Why don't I have that force setting on the day? Do they think it's not bright enough? So yeah, they, they say it's brighter. I'm not noticing. I mean, I can read it right now with the backlight on as it is, but that's high. Normally you'd want to keep it low for battery life and that's what it looks like. Let's turn down the studio lights or turn them off. See, now it's even better. And then an outdoor light, it's going to be wonderful. And I turned off the SBO2 and that gave me a range of 30 days fully charged. So it dropped 2% overnight. I like the look. I like that the torch is brighter. Whoops. There we go. So the torch definitely is brighter. I can see that without even having the Phoenix 7X from last year nearby. And the white light is brighter as well. I showed that in another video. Okay, fine, I'll show it again. So you have to go to the control wheel and then you wanna to go to the torch. And they added some new features in here as well. I'll show those later, but here's the torch. This is just level one, pretty bright. Level two, level three, and level four, it's blinding. It's really, really bright. And at full strength, that brightness will last you fully charged five hours. So now we'll go back to the torch. And if we change that to just medium, we get 19 hours of battery life. That's pretty cool. And then we go back to torch again, change it to low, seven days. So I can keep that on for seven days? That's hard to believe, but I might have to test that. That's, okay, that's pretty cool. You could just keep that on for seven days. Hmm. I also wanna test the solar sensitivity of this one. Now, a friend of mine told me that you can do basketball in here. So I added health snapshot so far. We have track me, settings, add, multi-sport, swimming, winter, gym. I would say it's under team sports, soccer, American football, basketball. There it is. Okay, I added it, Greg. There, now I have basketball. What else do we have? We have track me, map management, IQ store. Oh, okay, the maps are new. That's pretty cool. There's Utah Lake. And then I believe I can change the map. Around me, save location, map settings. There we go. Use satellite, default. Off, no location, GPS, increase battery life. All systems, all and multi, increase accuracy. Auto select, ultra tracked. Best battery, lower accuracy. There we go. And I can rename it. What else are the map settings? That's it. Map. Configure maps. There we go. Topo maps on. Sky view on. Map theme. Use system settings. Restore theme. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Enable touch. See, okay, that was nice. It automatically asked me if I wanted to enable touch even though I had touch disabled. Nice feature, I don't remember that on my previous Phoenix 7. 
Okay, the maps are pretty de detailed. Now, I did download these last night using Garmin Express, and that made a big difference because it took an hour to do. All right, more to come. And I found more. So if you go to Map Manager, you can see Outdoor Maps Plus. That requires a subscription. I'm not going to do that right now. Topo Active Maps. That's taken up 10 gig on my phone. And I can remove that, which is kind of cool if I was running low on space. And then we can go to Course Americas. It shows me all these maps that I've downloaded. Sky View. Oh, no internet connection. And that's because I have airplane mode on. We can go right to the IQ store. Must-haves. Okay, browse. Smartphone connection required. Okay, we'll do that later. And more settings, activities. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then let's try multi-sport. So triathlon, duathlon, brick, swim, run, cuss. I don't know what that is. Outdoor, hike, walk. Yeah, definitely walk. And then I have to go all the way back to add more. You can do this in the phone as well. But it's fun to show you right in the watch. Let's try running. Trail run, ultra run, treadmill. Yep, I do treadmill once in a while. Add. I try to avoid it as much as possible. I call it the dreadmill. And we also need to add swimming. Pool swim, open water, swim run, triathlon. Nice. I normally do pool swim. I'm trying to do more outdoor swimming. Map, connect IQ score, and plus. Let's see what else is new. We have the gym, strength. Yes, love strength workouts. Okay, that's enough for now. So the battery life is better. I remember on the other Phoenix that I had, instead of 29 days, it would actually show 26. There's So there's some other setting that I'm missing even though I have the battery brightness, well, sorry, I have the brightness down to really low, I don't know what else I can turn off because I've turned off all the obvious ones. So appearance, watch face glances, there's morning report, edit. So that's all the same. Add, yes, I wanna add that, and step school. Okay, done, so I've added everything. So watch face, controls, sensors, wrist heart rate on, pulse oximeter. I have it to manual check. That's a huge battery savings. Hmm, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I also turned off Move IQ because it doesn't work that well, but I will test eventually. I just want to test the battery life. Still, 29 days. That's pretty awesome. Hmm. And the sensor, well, I'm going to compare that to this one because this has the 4.0 sensor and this is the new 5.0 sensor, the latest and greatest. So I'll have to move this to a different account and then I'll wear both of these for a few days and make you another video. Now we can check our new fortune cookie in Italian, of course. Everyone loves Italian. Come on, who doesn't love Italy? Oggi è la tua giornata. Dimostralo. Today is your day. Get it. Or show it. It's Yeah, the translation's a little different, but... Nice Italian translation, Garmin. Oggi è la tua giornata. Dimostralo. I like it. All right, more on that later. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.